Hey, what's up my friends? Here are a couple of tips to share on what to do to stay fit in this Ramadan fasting season. So the question is, can you build muscles or lose weight in this Ramadan? The answer is, it depends. Now, if you've been training pretty hard all this while, chances of you maintaining if you keep going to the gym this Ramadan, yes, you'll be able to maintain. But don't expect gaining and improving because no water, no food for up to 20 hours is insane. So please keep your expectation low. So how often should you train? You should train about three to five times a week. So if you been training like only one to two times a week, it's not a good idea to train three times a week. So do what you normally do. Just keep it short, train, and that's good. What type of training you should do and that is do normal straight set training is a better idea because you are low in energy. You need more focus. So keep it simple is a good idea. And I would say try to do something new and that is if you're not used to body weight circuit training, like my style of workout, doing it probably will fatigue you very fast. So start slow and slowly build up from there. And one thing I want to talk about in training and that is your breathing technique. When you train, be aware of your breathing. Since you're not drinking water, if you keep breathing only relying on your mouth, you will experience dry mouth. So try to breathe from the nose, inhale from your nose, and exhale from your mouth. This will reduce the chances of dry mouth, especially those of you who train at a time before fasting where no access to water. So when is the best time to train? Basically, training right before breaking fast is a good idea because right after you train, you can have your water, you'll feel good. But easier said than done, I know fasting up to 20 hours, after that you just feel so tired, you just want to go home, especially a lot of things here, you just want to eat. What you can do is have your first meal, but a light meal. Whey protein and a banana or an oatmeal mixed together, drink it, drink water, hydrate first and 30 minutes later, crush your workout, it's all good. And after that, only have your big solid meal. So one thing is I strongly recommend you not to have a big solid meal before you train because if you eat too much, chances are you won't be able to work out after that. You need to wait for three hours and after that, probably it's like gonna be evening, it's gonna be late and it won't happen. So keep it light because big meal will push more blood to the stomach to digest the food. And even if you made it to the gym, you'll feel tired, you'll feel uncomfortable. Or maybe if you're not going to the gym, you are running, the food is in your stomach. And keeping it light is a better option. And what food you should focus on is protein. Get a lot of protein because this is where your body needs to recover and repair. And protein lasts longer in your system, you'll feel full longer. One thing you shouldn't reduce or cut and that is your carbohydrate. You probably know 70% of water are stored in human body. But do you know that water are actually need to bind with carbohydrates to form glycogen? So without the presence of carbohydrates, when you drink water, when you have a lot of water, the water will just go away. You just pee, you just sweat it out and you feel thirsty all the time. So to stay hydrated, you need some carbohydrate. And carbohydrate is our body preferred fuel. It will help you to push, not today only, but tomorrow, your daily tasks in the gym, your workout, and even your mood. So don't cut all your carbohydrate. And that being said, also don't go all out only in carbohydrate. Protein should be your main food source and then carbohydrate should be your supporting source. So there you have it. One last thing I want to talk about and that is your expectation. Don't expect to be perfect in this Ramadan. No such thing as perfect. Don't expect to gain muscles. Don't expect to lose weight, get six pack in this Ramadan. Because Ramadan, I believe, is about spirituality, love, gratitude, and reunion. So of course, adding your workout in is a better option, but then keep it low. Remember, the only bad workout is the one that didn't happen. Even though if you can't train in this Ramadan, it's okay, don't beat yourself up. Don't afraid that your muscles will go away and stuff. Maybe you will lose some muscles, but remember, fitness is all about the entire year process. It's not that one month of Ramadan, all right? Remember to come back on track strong. And for those of you who are still training, huge respect to you because Ramadan is gonna be tough, without food, without water. And to make your life a little bit easier, I strongly recommend you to download my training app because over here, there are plenty of gym and body weight workout. All you need to do is just pick one out of many workout over here and you are good to go. Basically, I already did all the heavy lifting for you. And I truly believe that this will be a good supporter for your fitness journey. All right, so I hope you find the benefit in this video. Please share this video with your Muslim friends or training partner. And before I sign out, I just want to wish everyone Happy fasting, selamat berpuasa, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. Peace.